greetings once again I welcome you to my youtube channel in this video we'll be looking at question number one it reads Sfiso is a builder who uses building planes and measuring instruments some measuring instruments and scales used by builders are shown below choose an item from column b that matches a description in column a write only the letter a to g next to the question number 1.1.1 up to 1.1.5 in the answer book and then the first one description is the most appropriate scale to draw a map of South Africa so we have to choose them obviously is one is to 50,000 which is D the answer for number one is D this is the most appropriate scale to draw a map of South Africa is one is to 50,000 which we know it represent one units on the map represent 50,000 units in real life the next question the instrument most suited to measure the circumference of a diameter uh, the circumference of a dinner plate what is it that we can use here we can use e that is our tape you can use that e is a tape uh, number three the most appropriate scale to draw a plan of a house what can we use to draw a plan of the house here the most appropriate scale to draw a plan of the house obviously is g which is one centimeter is equal to one meter you can use this when you draw a plane of the house number four the instrument most suited to measure the width of a soccer field soccer field what can we use c that is the material that we use when we measure the soccer field because it's very long you can pull it up up to 100 meters and then uh, the next question the instrument most suited to measure the length of a pencil what do you measure the length of a pencil f which is the ruler you can use a ruler to measure the length of a pencil 2.1 it says that the sketch below shows the standard brick with dimensions used in South Africa the sketch of a standard brick we're having the length of 20 to 40 millimeters width of 112 millimeters height of 70 millimeters the dimension are given them use the information above to answer the question that follows state which formula a b or c below can be used to calculate the total surface area which is tsa of the brick how do you calculate the total surface area obviously is b total surface area is going to be 2 multiplied by 240 multiply by 70 plus 2 multiply by 40 multiply by 112 plus 2 multiply by 112 multiply by 70 so is b the answer for the first question is b 1.2.2 convert the length of this brick to meters every time when you convert make sure that you remind yourself of the king here method you're going to see king harry died miserable death called malaria 
and now you want to convert between what? Um, we are having one zero 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 zero. You are converting from millimeters to meters. This two. So which is one zero zero zero. So if you can see here, the converting factor between millimeters and meters is one thousand. And you are converting from the smallest to the biggest, meaning that you are going to do what? You are going to divide by 1,000. Then length is going to be 240 divided by 1,000. 240 divided by 1,000. Use a calculator there. 240 divided by 1,000 is equal to 0, 0,24. 0, 0,24. Four meters then moving to the next question <coughs> um, I made a mistake this is 1.2.3 this is 1.2.3 1.2.3 it says um, convert the length of this brick to meters so obviously you use the king harry method king harry died miserable death called malaria and then one zero 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 then different uh, the relationship between meters and millimeters is 1000 you just say that 240 divided by uh, 1000 it gave you 0 0.24 and then 1.2.2 it says that state the unit of measurement for the volume of this brick. Obviously, we know that volume is always measured in cube. So this is measured in cube. We're gonna have m m to the power three. M m to the power three. And then one point two point four. It says determine the maximum number of rows. Rows of bricks that can be stuck height wise to the height of 2100 millimeters so this one you can see that is packaging packaging the height wise height wise is going to be height divided by height of a brick so the height that we are given here is to what 2100 and what is the height of a brick the height of a brick in this case is 70 the height of a brick is 70 so you use a calculator packaging 2100 divided by 70 we found that it's 80 bricks height wise going to be 80 bricks <clears throat> 2.4 then we move to 1.3 1.3 it says that Maria uses the receipt below to bake a scones ingredient to make one dozen let me try to clean here so that I can get enough space because we do have <coughs> some learners who doesn't understand what is a dozen. Now they are saying this is received to make one dozen. So what you have to understand is that from here, dozen is equals to 12. Every time when we talk about dozen, you must know that you are talking about 12. So this receipt can make only 12 scones. Ingredients are 75 gram of butter, two large eggs, 75 gram sugar, four teaspoon baking powder, 230 milliliters milk, 500 gram flour, one cup raisin. Baking instruction, bake for 15 minutes at 200 degrees Celsius. And then we do have that picture. Then 1.3.1. Convert the mass 
of the flour to cream. So if you look at the flour, the ingredient, we go to the ingredient, we look at the mass of a flour, it said 500 gram flour. 500 gram flour. It means that we must convert from gram to kilogram. What is the converting factor between gram and kilogram? We know that is 1000. So we're just going to see 500 divided by 1000, which is the same as, use a calculator, 500 divided by 1000 is 0 0.5 kg. 0 0.5 kg. And then 1.3.2. 1.3.2 say determine the number of large eggs needed to make 8 teaspoons. So we know that 12, according to this information, because they said dozen, 2 eggs. And then 12 will need 2 eggs. Another 12 will need 2 eggs. It means that 6, it will need 1 egg. So let's see. What is 12? plus 12 plus 6 we know that is 80 so 80 therefore 80 it will need 5 x just the combination of 2 plus 2 plus 1 simple as that 1.3.3 1.3.3 3. 1 say that each cones has average diameter of 77 centimeters i mean write down the average radius of each cone so we know that radius radius is equal to diameter divided by 2 so we have 7 divided by 2 what is 7 divided by 2 we use a calculator all the time make sure that you use a calculator 7 divided by 2 is 3,5 3, 5. is 3,5 3,5 even if you don't write the units, it's not a problem. The problem comes when you write wrong units. If you write wrong units, that's where you are inviting problems. If you can leave it like this to say it's 3,5, it's fine. But if you say it's 3,5 kilometers, we are going to penalize you because where do you get kilometers from? So it's very much important to write correct units or don't write units at all. We are not going to penalize you when we do the marking. And then 1.3.4. It now says that calculate how many full dozen in scones can be made with 500 gram of beta. So we know that one dozen is equal to 75. So 50 is going to make, 500 is going to make how many? We're just going to say 500 divided by 75 because we know that each doesn't need 75 so we just divide this by 75 divide by 75 find that is 6,6666666666 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, seven dozens so obviously you have to be very much careful you have to round down. You cannot round up. This have to be six dozen. Why six instead of seven? Because if you force this to be seven dozen, it means that the taste of these scones is not going to be a delicious. Because you are forced to have seven dozen. With the ingredient that can make six, you force them to make seven. So the taste is not going to be tasteful if we have that word tasteful and then 1.3.5 1.3.5 is say that the scones we placed in the oven to bake at 1410 write down in word the time the scones were placed in the oven 1410 they want us to write 1410 in wet 
So we know that is 10 minutes. Pass. 10 minutes past two in the afternoon. It's 10 minutes past two in the afternoon. This is your 30 marks of question one. Very easy, level one kind of questions. Thank you very much for watching this video. Don't forget to subscribe. Don't forget to like, don't forget to share. I will see you in the next video.